Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you all how I draw braids. It's pretty simple once you see how it's done, and you can use this for any size or any type of braid. It's just the foundation and the curvatures and the strands and how it's being actually weaved. So, I'm doing a basic braid in this video, and you all will see how the end results will look for the sketch. So if you want to see how I drew the braids in the thumbnail, make sure you stay tuned. So the first thing that I do when I draw braids is I draw a general area of where the braid is going to go, how thick the braid is going to be, and what direction it's going to fall in. This is important because when you're actually drawing out the strand, it'll help you keep a consistent curve and it'll help you keep in a consistent size for the braid so it doesn't look lopsided and out of shape unless that's how you want it to look, then you draw it as you please. But for a neat basic braid, I start off by doing rectangular shapes and you'll see it that I do it while I'm drawing out the whole piece itself. After the sketch is done and the foundation is laid, the next thing that I do is I draw a zigzag in the middle of the area that I mapped out for the braids. I'll do that in blue so that you guys can see the difference in the black of the sketch and the blue of the zigzag. But basically what you're going to want to do is try and center it in the middle of that area because that's going to be the intersection of the different locks of hair. So as you will see, I tried to duplicate it one line and see if I can do it for all of them. But for the fastest and the safest way, I'll just say to just draw each zigzag for each individual braid. If you're doing a whole head of braids, it might take a while, but it'll help when you actually start inking it and coloring it in because it'll be more defined and it'll be easier to add the shadows and the highlights because you'll know where the turning and the twisting is for the braid. One of the last steps that you're going to do when drawing the braid is to start adding the curves that represent you actually turning and twisting locks into the braid. The easiest way that I can explain it is to extend the lines from the center of the zigzag and then add a rounded curve to that line. And then what you're going to do is keep doing it and connecting them with the curves. And you sometimes you could do it midway and sometimes you'll do it right underneath the first curve that you'll do. And you just keep doing that all the way down the braid and you make it smaller and smaller as you get down to the tip. It's kind of weird to explain it verbally which is why I have the visual aid here so you guys can see what I mean when I say adding the curve at the end of the extension of the zigzag.
like what you've seen in today's video, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And for those of you who don't know, I do have an online art shop and 20% of all proceeds go towards supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. On top of that, I have a master Google Doc down in the description where you all can donate to and educate yourselves on what the Black Lives Movement is about and why it's important. So if you guys are interested in any of those things, make sure you check out my description. Make sure you like, share this video, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave it down in the comment section and I'll answer it the best way I know how. If you guys still need help in drawing these braids, I'll make a video going in more depth. But for now, I hope you guys stay safe out there. Make sure you check out my description. Black lives matter and they always will. And have a nice day.